hi guys you are all welcome to my channel today in this video i am going to tell you some facts about india which are so important for the foreigners and those who want to have a trip to india so that they do not feel bad or they will enjoy the trip easily now i have seen many foreigners who come to india for tourism purpose and they feel a lot of difficulties in their journey because they don't know these facts about india so hello guys myself aishman singh rajara and i am an indian boy who wants to introduce my India to the world and tell you people everything about Indian lifestyle, cultural, tra culture, tradition and of course Indian tourism. So let's start with the video. But before starting, I would like to tell you that previous video of mine was the video related to the biggest festival in India, that is the Indian Deepavali. If you have not yet watched that video, then you can also take time to watch that video. That's also an awesome video. So I will be providing you the link in the description and also you can click the cards or you can refer to the end screen for that video. So let's start with today's topic. So guys, today I'm going to tell you some facts about India so that you will not feel difficulties while traveling in India and while enjoying Indian tourism. So I will tell you many points today. Let's start with those points. Number one, really very cheap rates for everything. Everything in India costs very little. For example, traveling for four kilometers in a taxi can be a little expensive outside India. But it is really so casual in India that we don't even mind traveling in a taxi and every Indian travels in the taxi every day. And India taxis are different kinds. In your country, I don't know much about your country, but in your country, I have seen that there are a little variety. I think uh, uh, cabs, they can be cabs, they can be cars, anything, okay. But in India, there are various kinds of taxi systems, taxi services, and those taxi services cost you differently. So, the best and the cheapest taxi service in India is the auto rickshaw. You can travel in an auto rickshaw at just 10 rupees per, uh, I think, per 2 to 3 kilometers. Definitely, these rates apply for different cities differently but in my city if i talk about my city and many cities like mine you will have to pay just rupees 10 for four to five kilometers of taxiing in an auto rickshaw so now what is rupees 10 indian rupees 10 is very less than a dollar one dollar costs 75 rupees 75 indian rupees around 75 the rates may change anytime but it's around 75 and one dollar is very big than a rupee so in india if you will have to pay less than a dollar for traveling for four to five kilometers how will it feel so please tell me in the comment box now let me tell you that what actually indian prices are for example a hundred rupees or i can say one dollar and a little about that is enough for your perfect full diet meal and that will be a very rich diet that will be very delicious diet i mean 100 indian rupees will give you an awesome diet in a restaurant obviously there are many kinds of different rates and different food items available in india and the variety of food is too much but first point was that that everything in india is really cheap and if anyone asks you more money than what is actually being asked to the indians then you must definitely oppose this action so india is really really low rate system okay india indian people do not feel too much difficulty because everything every service every uh, material in india every item is cheap uh, while comparing with your countries now this next point the next point about india is that indian traffic indian traffic only drives in the left arm side in your country in us america many countries you drive in the right arm side okay you drive on the right side of the road but you can drive on left side in india and you have to drive on left side in india in india wherever people want to go they always drive on the left arm side so that's a massive change in the indian traffic okay now one more thing in your countries you will have to book a ticket for a train okay i don't know i can't say about every country but just i am talking to the whole world 
that's why i am saying that in many countries you can book a ticket in train okay so what you have to do you will have to book your ticket in advance for 7 days for 10 days for 1 month okay so in india if you want to book your train you can book even 2 or 4 hours before and if you have forgot to book your tickets then there are open tickets which can be booked for you just five minutes before the train timing in india that's a major source major source of flexibility in your tourism that transport services are always available also at a cheap price for example if you want to have a train from uh, Chittorgarh, that's my city to kota then what will be the charge it's around 260 to 280 kilometers and you will have a train so what will be the charge if I will tell you, if I will tell you in dollars, then for one ticket, for one person to go here to there, it's nearly 1.2 or 1.3 dollars. Just that. So it's really cheap. Okay. Now the third point. What's the third point in India? And that is the food variety. In India, there is a lot, lot love. You cannot count what and how much kinds of food are available in India. Food items are richly filled in the Indian culture. So at my place, at my city, I will talk about my city. My city is Chittorgarh and in this city, I can enjoy around 3000 types of meals available. This is not a very big city, but there are a rich, rich, very rich, very rich variety and no Indian is able to taste every dish of India in the lifespan. So variety is too much and you can enjoy the meals too much. Okay. Now, next point is what others try that uh, the foreigners who do not know much about India, others say them not every, uh, I think, uh, 0.1% people do this act and others are honest. So Indians are honest, but you need not to believe everyone. Many people do in India that the foreigners who do not know about the ratings in India, they tell that for five to six kilometers, you will have to pay 100 rupees, 150 rupees, 200 rupees instead of 10 rupees, five rupees. And that's really a massive crime. You will have to oppose it, but before Committing any action, you must have to confirm that what are the rates, what is the distance and what is accurate. It may be possible that someone is genuine and telling you the truth, but you think that he is charging you excessively. Many people charge foreigners excessively in India, but not everyone. Indians are honest. Okay, so you will have to be safe from this. This is robbery. It's not for only transport, for staying, for food, for anything, anything. To enjoy in India, you will have to pay very less. But people sometimes tell you very expensive rates so that they can earn a lot of profit. You will have to be safe from that. Okay. Now, one more point that is really, really helpful for you. In your countries, I can't say about many countries, but majority of countries, what they have, uh, you can catch a metro and just reach to your destination. But in India, metros are really less. There are no metros in India. Big trains, there are a lot. But talking about metros, there are very less number of metros available in India. And what's the reason? Reason being that in India, people have a lot of tourism. A lot of travel services which allow them to travel for really short distances. For example, if the distance is just 100 meter, 200 meter, or three, four, five hundred meter. Okay, even the distance is fifty meters. Then you will prefer walking and reaching to your destination. But in India, many people—I will not say everyone—but many people also book cabs, also use the auto rickshaw, also book expensive cabs for such short distances because, first of all, it's really cheap rate, and second, there is a lot of availability of transportation in India. Transportation in India is really, really, really cheap because there is a lot of availability and lot of competition for the people who work for the transportation. I will tell you one fact about India that the road network, the roadways network of India is the world's biggest roadways network. Means the number of roads in India is the maximum number a country can have in number of roads. 
so that was a little information about india i hope you like this information if you enjoyed this and if you got to know something new please like this video and also subscribe my channel also you will be getting many other kinds of videos like this was a face cam video which in which i told you something about india and not just telling you something is not sufficient so i will be showing you much more about india okay so by watching my videos you will understand how to survive in india and really easily okay so keep watching i am confident you are confident then subscribe thanks for watching this video please subscribe and goodbye